You might be getting some great flowers here fairly soon. And the question is, is there a science to keeping them looking fresh? Can you make them last a little longer? The answer is yes. And some of the results might be very surprising. First of all, let's do the science of the flower. Take a look at this carnation. If we were to take a look at, uh, with a microscope, the stem that's right there, it would look like these tubes that you see here, are these straws, little capillaries, where the water can work its way up into the stem. So anything that's in the water eventually works its way up through a process called transpiration and evaporation and it'll kind of work its way up. So anything that you put in the water will work its way ultimately to the petals. Look at this as evidence. You know if you put food coloring in those carnations, you can turn them all different colors, which makes for a cool project. But that little packet that they give you to put in your flowers, what is in that? It's usually some form of sugar to provide some nutrients, but over time your flowers get a little bit slimy, the water looks bad. So that is now our first variation. Look at this. A little bit of sugar and vinegar. That's right, apple cider vinegar. Uh, the sugar provides a little nutrient. The apple cider vinegar helps to inhibit some of the growth of bacteria. Not a bad idea. Quick variation is Sprite. That also gives it some nutrients. And then the carbonic acid, again, tries to inhibit any bacteria growth. You can see both these flowers are doing well and they're about a week old. This one's a little weird. Look at this, pennies. That's right, a couple pennies there in the bottom. What's that supposed to do? Basically about nothing. Not gonna work that much, but don't tell the kids if they're working on the science project because you wanna compare and see. This is showing up in inboxes everywhere. That's right, look at this, vodka. A little bit of vodka in the flowers. These flowers look a little happier than the rest of the flowers. I'm just saying, this actually inhibits the uh, production of ethylene gas and that causes them to wilt, so who knows? And the last one, need I say any more, aspirin. An aspirin in there because you had vodka the night before. It doesn't matter. It's a comparison across the way. You can see all these flowers are looking pretty good, but FTD Florist commissioned a study, tried to figure out what is the absolute best. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. The best is, that's right. Keep them cold, ladies and gentlemen. Keep them cold in the refrigerator at night if you want to, just like a florist does. Look at these. They look absolutely beautiful, but it doesn't matter. It's the scientific process that we're trying to learn and you've got a way to keep your flowers fresh. Look at that. I have found a way to ruin yet another holiday with a little bit of science. I'm Steve Spangler and that's your flower saving beautiful science minute.